Just how widespread are cases of voter fraud here in the mid-state? Thanks for joining us at 10, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. Well, we know that this can definitely be a hot button issue across the country with concerns over election integrity. So when reports started circulating about illegal voter registration in Montgomery County, we wanted to dig into it and also make sure you have the most information and context to it as possible. Our Jason Lamb spoke with the DA in Montgomery County who made the decision to take roughly 20 cases of what he says is illegal registration to a grand jury. We do get referred. District Attorney Robert Nash says he looked over a list of 20 names from the last election in Montgomery County, names forwarded from the County Election Commission of people the commission says either voted in the last election when they shouldn't have or even just registered without actually voting. It's a list Nash says the election commission sends after each election. It's not really anything new, but I understand the, the climate as of late uh, about uh, election integrity brings a more of a spotlight to the situation. Nash says while 20 voters is a somewhat larger number than what they usually see, he says it's no reason to believe claims of widespread voter fraud across the country that would change the impact of an election. You know, you hear the phrase that this election is rigged. What can you tell people about these charges and claims like that? These charges do not have anything to do with the actual tabulation of the votes. If you understand what I mean there, it just appears to be individuals who were are not qualified or entitled to register to vote. And in the vote. cases he's looking over, Nash says the vast majority of those not qualified to vote have prior felony convictions. Well, that's primarily the, the main cause of this. Tennessee is second only to Florida when it comes to the number of people with a felony conviction denied the right to vote. The state says a judge's ruling this summer means someone needs a court order or a full governor's pardon before they can get their voting rights back. Could these be cases or examples of folks who are registering to vote or voting who simply don't know that they can't? Well, I mean, that very well may. I, I can't get into the mind of the individual, whether they knew, didn't know. Election results show more than 40,000 people voted in last year's general election in Montgomery County. As the DA says, the 20 or so cases of illegal voter registration will make their way through the courts. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thanks, Jason. Illegal voter registration or uh, illegal voting itself, it is a felony here in Tennessee. Those convicted are then permanently barred from voting in the future.